The purpose of this demonstration is to show two things. One, the difference between an empirical probability and a true probability or a theoretical probability. And the other thing is to show that with enough trials or with enough experiments, you may actually see the empirical probabilities start to approach these theoretical probabilities. And that's what we're going to demonstrate here with coin tosses. Right now I have set the probability of heads to be 0.5, so this is a fair coin. And my first experiment is to toss this coin 40 times and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it. And we see that the number of tosses on the x-axis and the proportion of heads on the y-axis. And what we're seeing here is that after 40 tosses we have a lot of uh, oscillation and, but it's starting to settle down here a little bit. So if I toss this another 40 times we see that we have the proportion of tails and the proportion of heads really hanging close to what we've assigned these uh, true probabilities to be. And if we toss it another 40 times, we will see this get even closer. And if we toss it another 40 times, we are getting pretty close to this true probability. Now I've tossed this coin 160 times right now and I have the proportion of tails to be about 0.54 and the proportion of heads to be about 0.46. So if we toss this another 40 times, this would be 200 tosses. we're starting to see this getting even closer to this true probability. And this is the idea of the empirical probability to actually run an experiment and tally the uh, results and figure out the probability by taking the number of successes and divide by the total number in your experiment. And the theoretical probability which says when you run this over a very long period of time what is the uh, number of successes divided by the total number of possible outcomes in your sample space. And when I've set the probability of heads to be 0.5, uh, we can see here that we have this settling down behavior getting very close to this uh, theoretical probability. And this is how the empirical probability and the theoretical probability are related.